Good evening! Let's see how this goes. We've already got weird shit happening in the browser over here. There we are. How you all doing? Can you all hear me? Let's see if the audio and video is playing. Good evening, good evening. Let's see who's around. Hello to Remans and Darius and Infinicil and Pondipim, Chimera, Sorted August, and Zymans. Zymas, sorry. Good to see you all. Thanks for bearing with the week off, and uh, we're going to start fucking around with some more of this, because last time we did a bunch of batching. Because what we want to do is speed up uh, rendering in our little engine. So at the moment we've got like 3,000... Let's, uh, let's bring up the code, one second. We put together this really hacky test, called Hacky Test, uh, which spawned 3,000 actors of type Foo, which is this actor here. Um, and yeah, there's... 3,000 of them there, and our frame rate is unsurprisingly a little bit low. Because we're doing a draw call for every single one of those. Uh, <laughs> oh, bloody hell. What's happening? Um, <laughs> Shmer is here to kill himself and chew bubble gum. <laughs> I'm all out of myself. Dude, it is good to see you. And uh, Pond Whip, nice to have you back. Darius, hello. Um, Pondipimp was saying no sound. Very strange. But everyone else has got audio and video. And Pondipimp's caught up. That's cool. Why would your game need that many instances? I don't know. They, they, like, the, the world doesn't need this engine at all. So I may as well, like, if I'm going to make this stupid thing, put loads of stupid constraints on it as well. Um... But I would like, you know, I would like to be able to do 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 things on screen. Um, it's really just like, how far can I go with just this little actor model stuff? Like defining actors and then spawning a load of them off and having them all t only talk about themselves. Um, it's a good excuse for me to look at um, collision detection and actually optimizing that because... It, that's like kind of trivial when you have a, like a dozen things, but when you say, okay, now I have 10,000 objects and I want to do collision, that's a cool challenge and it will force me to learn something. Um, so last time, way back when, what we did is we changed, rather than just having one big array full of actors, um, we decided to batch them. So in this actors array, we have, in this, uh, sorry, actors hash table, um, we have keyed on um, the kind of actor big old arrays of actors. So here's one god, uh, but under the um, foo section, we have shit tons of these guys. And um, so that's our 3,000 of these. And all we're going to do is we're going to make this work with instancing, or at least that's the goal for tonight, is try and get to there. We even had started a little way in that direction like a while ago so up here there are some unused functions where is it dev struct there it is power actor data we looked at the um drawing function and we looked at the uniforms and like when you batch by uh actor all the visuals are the same so and the screen height and the screen ratio all the same um, so the only data that was actually per actor was a transform, a size, a UV scale, a UV offset. We could definitely pack this down, but we're not going to because I don't really care. Um, we've set our max actor count of 40,000. That's stupidly large. And um, we have our per actor data, um, which would be populated by this function, but we just haven't done it yet. So I think the idea is we're going to, yeah, just do that. So I think, uh, like, the first version is just we're going to scan through all the actors and we're going to write all the data into, um, I guess, into a C array. There's a couple of ways we can do this. So we're going to make a big old GPU array here. We're going to need this, and we're going to use this as per instance data when we start doing instancing. But um, we need to get data into there. So what we can do is we can say map GPU array, what is it? I don't know the API anymore. Um, it's something as array, where is it? As array, 
damn it. Um, oh no, it's, it's as Siri? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it's as C array. As C array. Yeah, with, with GPU array as C array. Okay. And then we'll be able to say temp or var or whatever, and the GPU array is some GPU array. And then, um, and we'll actually map it with access type. Um, write only and then we'll loop through all the actors and we'll just write data into this GPU array and we'll see if that's fast enough I think that's where we start we just start fucking around there's a few different techniques we can use to try and get more speed um, we'll see um, common event saying a word about the rust event you went to last week it was cool <laughs> <laughs> like uh, it's a good friend of mine um, was just doing a meetup here in Oslo chatting about a bunch of projects he's worked on like because people like uh, he's a he's a streamer doing a virtual boy emulator amongst other things in Rust and he does a lot of compression work and things like this um, and so a lot of people like ask what's Rust good for what's Rust good for and he didn't really want to give that talk uh, he says, I haven't used it in industry. I've used it for like personal projects so I can say why it's been really good for the stuff that I've been doing. And it's been really cool. He's like been getting really productive, got really into it. And it's solved, like hit a lot of nice spaces in w where he would other have to use, otherwise have to use C++ or something like that. Um, so yeah. Chimera is not a fan by the sound of it. I'll tell you a word about the Rust event I had to take bullshit. Spent all day trying to get this fucking refactor going. Let me tell you, it was not fun. <laughs> I am. What are you working on in Rust? Right, let's just see if this stuff works. Because at the moment, I don't think anything calls this in actor data function. Let's do who calls. No references found for in actor data. Let's just call it. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to be fucking up a lot today because I've taken a suggestion from Shimera, who's got this nice little tweak that means uh, unless you're at the end of the line in the REPL, hitting return, just adds new lines which is lovely but it's 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 not in my muscle memory i started using this today so um i am going to be screwing this up a lot okay so we got per actor data per actor data um and we're going to start by making this even slower so we're going to go up to Rather than, let's see, what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's make it another function. Uh, write actor data. Actor and res. I'm not sure which of these we're actually going to need. Let's just copy all of this stuff and start stripping out things. Um, because we need... Oh, we're not going to have a map G. That's... Straight away gone. We're not going to do blending in here. We're not going to do... We might need stuff from slots. So let's leave that there. Um, we need UV offset stuff, UV scale. We need the size and the transform. So all of this stuff goes away. Um, So what happens if we compile this? The variable res is defined but never used. Cool, and it's going away. Right, now this is a function that does jack shit. So let's say we had um, C array and an index. And then we are gonna set up a bunch of data. So set up um, character data transform. C actor ARF. It's gonna be interesting actually. Um, just do it, Chris. Don't think about the performance, we'll deal with this later. Um, C array, oops, index. Worked to data transform and the right object is C actor 
And the value is going to be well, the transform. This guy. We're going to have to move all this stuff inside here, I assume. There's a reason for having that shit around. Let's move this up here. Shimera saying he's implementing a benchmark suite and framework for this um, Strymon streaming data processor. Um, he says that Rust kills me because doing any kind of modularity of the kinds of high-level composing things I like to do is either not possible or turns real ugly. Um, and he says, remember, you can use control return to evaluate the REPL line at any point. Cool! I will try and remember that. So it's like, class one, two, three, and if I was here and did control return, nice. Okay. And otherwise, that would do that, and I would have to go to the end and do that. Slowly, slowly. Right. Set of character data um, size. Is size. Um, why am I doing a separate? Yeah, we'll do a separate set for each. Really doesn't matter. Um, correct data. UV scale. And it's not going to work without this guy. Is UV scale. Okay, so if that was done, maybe it'll work? Um, one of the things I immediately don't like is the fact that we are going to be, uh, when we do this AREF here, um, we're going to be creating a box around it. I think that's unavoidable for now, which is sucky. Um, I swear I had some stuff for this, though. Ah, we'll look at it later. That's just going to be a... Uh, it might be a lot of garbage, or it might uh, understand the fact that it's not going out of this scope, so it's fine. Who knows? So what would to happen if we went up here, and where we've got for each actor... Ugh. Um, we did for i from zero... And then did. Oh, wait a second. Is this where draw is done? No, it's not. Idiot. Up here, where we do draw. I'm going to drop this down. Zero. Do these things. And we should totally have uh, the writing of the actor. Maybe should it be? We'll see. I don't know. Think one thing at a time. Right. There's the actor. There's the C array, which we haven't got yet. Hmm. Do we want this to be done in the same um, line as doing the update? Or should we do this as a separate pass? Like a separate run through the array? Let's do that. Let's do it separate. Um, pull this out. And... We can say with GPU array, that whole thing we were talking about earlier. Um, C array and the GPU array is whatever that GPU array was. I've actually forgotten. Do we still have it around here somewhere? Nope. Ah, uh, dev structs. Down here somewhere. Player actor data, that's what it was called. Let's move this down to new line. Access type, right only. And then we were to do this, and so we're gonna map this GPU array, so GPU memory, um, to a local pointer for this duration 
Um, and in that time, we're going to do a quick sweep across the actors, and we're going to write some data in there. And it's going to be done with a C array. Oh, no, that actually was it. C A R R and I. And it's freaking out! Okay, what have I done? I don't have a do in here, so that won't be liking that. Uh, the value C array is not of type vector. Okay, I bet I did A ref instead of A ref C in here. That's A ref C I'm meant to be using. Continue. Okay, so now the FPS is going to be even slower. We've got a couple, lost a couple of FPS there. But now technically we're writing all of that data into a GPU array, which is pretty fucking cool, actually. That's really cool. So that I, that wasn't as big a hit as I expected that to be. Let's uh, look at per actor data, and we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to say map. Um, actually, no. What we'll do, we'll take a subsection of this array. So if we do subsect G, basically, I just want to. What am I doing? Um, I want to look at some of the data inside this thing, um, but I don't want to pull down forty thousand um, things. So if we do 0 to 10, um, and then we did pull G on that subsection. See, all evening. Look at that. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's real data. Fuck yeah. That's great. Okay. Part 1 done. We have some... I'm going to actually get that again. This is the matrix we wrote in and there's a few vector twos these values look like consistent this isn't just garbage from the gpu so that is nice fuck yeah okay this kepple thing's all right um now we're writing all the data into that thing um we can start looking we're nearly ready to start doing instancing basically we're going to ditch this bit here um, and oh, that's kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, we're going to be doing one draw call, and it's going to be an instance draw call um, that is going to not be able to per thing look at whether it's dead or not, unless we put the dead flag into that GPU array, which I can't really be bothered to do. But what we're also doing here is pushing this onto the um, actor's next array. So I think this is the one we could draw from. Or at least we could use this to find out the length. Is that correct? Um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Um... Maybe we should do the if dead check in here as well. Hmm. Um, or we can just try and draw from actors next. Is that a good idea though? I don't know. Um, no, at the moment, let's try and replicate what we've currently got, which is we're drawing the current actor. So let's do actors current. So actually what we want to do is go let um, count be zero, remove i, um, let this be count and then do unless dead write the actor into that GPU array and then increment count the nice thing about this yeah. oops damn it Where's continue? Just that. Okay, FPS. That's it's still there. The nice thing about this is now we know the number of instances we need to draw. So what we're going to do is, like here, we're going to have um, draw count instances of actor. But before then, we need to upload the um, uniforms. So let's do that. Upload actor uniforms. Uh, common actor uniforms. So the ones that they all have. And we're going to have a period where we're actually going to break this. So we're not going to have anything up there. But that's going to be fine. So let's go back and look at draw again. 
And we're going to clone Drawer Actor. And it's going to be upload common actor uniforms. And basically, it was the stuff that wasn't these guys. So if we take out the transform, the size, and the UV, and the scale, we should be left with this. Um, we're not going to be drawing any geometry. We're just uploading uniforms so we can take the stream and set it to nil. Um, everything else is still fine. Let's compile this, and it's going to just complain about things. I mean, that's just a note about performance. This is saying that UV scale and offset aren't used, so let's get rid of that. And now we're down to notes, which is good. Cool. So that's that. And we pass in an actor. Which actor do we pass in? What is it using the actor for, actually? Oh, it's just getting the visual. And they all share the same visual, so that's fine. I think. Yes. Actually, a bunch of these is... Like, does with slots have an implicit... Um... Oh, wait a second. Okay, so one of the things that surprised me is there's still quite a lot of variables in here that we're not using. And I was wondering if with slots had an implicit um, ignorable... Declare ignorable, but of course it's not. With slots makes a symbol macro. Um, so we only need height and game units, which is um, global. We need res, which is here, and we need visual. So all this shit here, we don't need blending, um, and we don't need any of this stuff. That's much nicer. That's what I want. Okay, so we can pass in any old actor from that group. Um, and we can so we'll just take the first one and res cool so where's upload so um, when length of actors current actors um, greater than zero well we don't want to do any of this if it's not that so we can just wrap that around Ugh. all that man it's tricky with this font size let's leave that and coffee Oh, it's going to be so good to remove a lot of this code. Um, okay, so we're going to upload the common guys. So let's just do... Here, shorten that a bit. When we've got some actors, take the first one, so a ref of uh, current actor zero. We'll use that and we'll use res, whatever that is. It's around here somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, it's the viewport resolution. And then we, that's gonna do the upload and then we're actually gonna go and, so it's upload, oh, that's a useless comment. Copy actor data to GPU array. And then, what else? Let's move this out to here. I want to make sure that's unbound before we try and do anything else. Now we want to actually do the um, draw instance actors. Now, I have no idea what this function is going to look like yet, but it won't be too bad. Let's go and look at draw actors again. So, the important bit is this cube stream. We're going to have to build a new stream which has not only the vertices um, for 
the cube that we're texturing here, uh, but also has the per instance uh, data in it as well. But anyway, like we, we can let's let's chop this apart. Count. Um, whatever. We're going to have one map G and it's going to be the um, instance stream. Do instance cube stream. We're going to say with blending. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're not going to need to set any uniforms because we've uploaded all the ones that we need for all of the actors already and we have put all the rest of the data in per instance uh, stream so that's going to be okay so we probably don't need any of this or any of this and again UV mod stuff we don't need that if I compile this it's going to complain about instance cube stream which is correct so that's good uh, count isn't used because what we need is to do with instances count bam that's going to be our that's going to be our way that we draw actors pretty sure we're going to need to go and change our shaders because the data is now going to be coming from an instance um array rather than from um from uniforms so we've got a lot of hackery to do there in fact let's see if we can keep all of this code around so if we look at simple cube this is our pipeline down here let's um change it to instance cube and uh i cube um, bs i cube fs so we'll take these copy them move them down here Ugh, what was that? And let's change the shaders. So I'm going to bring actors up on this side because I want to go and look at that struct again. Here we go. Per actor data. Now, hopefully what we can just do is um, just do data and this. And then transform and size are gone. Um, and so are UV and, ah, now this is important, UV scale and UV offset are not going to be available. Right, so we need to take this and we need to move it to here. And I think these should be flat because we don't want interpolation across the triangle. Um... Not that it's going to matter because they're all going to put out the same value anyway. Yeah, it's going to be constant for the instance, so that's okay. We shouldn't have to qualify that. It might be, it might help. We'll see. So, iQBFS and iQBS. Let's compile this. No complaints. Um, now, there are going to be complaints here because. What do we remove? We re remove transform. So let's make a variable for that so we can unpack it. Um, it's going to be um, should just be transform of data. Uh, we're using size here as well. Um, yeah, we'll get a UV offset. And I'm only uh, unpacking these so I don't have to change as much code right now because I want to tread lightly if I can. Okay, so we're going to put UV offset and UV scale, except they're around the other way. Let's see what happens if I compile this. Oh, that's cool with it. Okay. And instance cube is complaining. Could not find the function iCube something else. 
Yes, because the types are wrong. So this says it takes a GPNT, but now it also takes per actor data. And this one takes three vectors. So we need to do that. And now that compiles. That's cool. Okay, so that might be all right. We have a pipeline called instance queue. Um, trying to do this with minimal downtime, but um, it's not really necessary, but it's fun to see if we can do it. Okay. Now we need to make this stream. Where's our other stream defined? Okay, over here somewhere. What? Oh yeah, of course not. Ah, fool. Right, uh, stream in, is in here somewhere. Oh yeah, so in init, we say, unless cube stream, and then we set up the cube stream. Okay, we're gonna do another one now. Unless this stream, um, and that's just to find it here, def star. Gonna have to do a big old cleanup of um, globals. <laughs> we all love globals. Let's do this. Okay. Anything going on in chat? Yeah, quiet today, folks. But this is just, this is a bit we've been waiting to do for a while, so. It's cool. It's cool. Right. We have vert array and an index array. Vert array, index array. And now instead of um, one array, we're actually going to have two. And we're going to cons. See if I can remember how this works. We cons. Ah, per actor data, this was it. And one. And what this does is it says um, this is going to be, like, this is going to be iterating per vertex, and this is going to be iterating once, like, per instance. Um, if you set this to two, it increments by one every uh, two instances and so on. It's not the prettiest API, but it's also a lot. Um, <laughs> it's a lot more minimal than things you would have to do in GL normally. So let's just compile that. I think that's okay. Uh, there's a few things though. I want to move this creation of the per actor data stuff. In fact, all of this is going to go in the other file. this I'll just in at the act data here and so now we really just want to test this bit um, let's uh, throw open a REPL and see what we get we get a stream interesting cool so that's <laughs> that is what we wanted um, I always expect more errors Okay, so instance cube stream is that. Let's inspect it and just make sure I'm seeing what I expect to see. Cool, we have an index array of U shorts. We have two GPU arrays, one of them with one in the per instance section. It might be all right. Okay, now if this works, I'll be very surprised. Um, Okay, so let's go back to actors and see what we need to chop and change before we can actually start using this. Um, draw instant actors with a count. So we're just going to pass in a count here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove all this draw shit from here because that is no longer necessary. Um, and we are going to switch to this. And that did not work. <laughs> right, debug time. 
Okay. Didn't outright crash. We've got one guy down there. I do not know what's going on here, but we will find out. So, um, let's have a look. Where do we begin? Uh, let's find out how many we're actually drawing. What? Oh! <laughs> Fucking moron. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Cool. Print count. So used to just wrapping things in print and it being okay. Okay, so per frame we've got like quite wildly different numbers. In fact, they're increasing. Why? And then they're... what the fuck? Oh, am I doing this in the loop? I'm just seven shades of stupid right now. Blah, can't even speak. That's how stupid I am. Right. Okay, now. Now we're getting 3,001, which is really interesting. Um, I didn't expect that. Um, oh, of course we're getting and one because we have two um, different kinds of actors. One god and then 3,000 the other guys. So that's cool. So basically we're getting the draw call is being done correctly. Um, and we're getting one ship down here. Even though the fucker isn't moving, it is there. Um... I wonder why. We're still doing update actor. So all that stuff should be happening. Um, let's... have a look. When we pull this, let's map car over the first in it. Um, and that gives us the transform matrix. And all I can see here at least is that these values are changing per time we pull. And we are pulling from the GPU. So the GPU is getting that data. So that should be fine. Um, we are unmapping this before we call draw. That's guaranteed. So it should be able to read from that um, without having to have any synchronization uh, primitives put in. And if, if, if synchronization, like on the GPU side, was an issue, um, then I would have expected to see more erratic failure rather than just this one that's sitting there. Um, Yeah, very odd. What? <laughs> Where did you come from? Oh, wait! Something hadn't actually compiled. Ha, huh, something's gone strange here. Let's, uh, jump back to the other, uh, file. Now I'm getting a shader compilation thing, so maybe I hadn't actually compiled that uh, draw function or something, because now it looks like it's trying. Oh, and another problem I've just realized. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, uniforms. Where's our upload uniforms? Upload common actor uniforms. It's pushing data to the wrong pipeline. We're using instance cube, and it's trying to use simple cube. Okay, so that's why we didn't see that failure sooner either. And I'm typing the wrong thing. Okay. So it's saying no function called transform was found in this environment. Well, that's kind of annoying because I'm pretty sure that struct has a transform. Th oh, wait a second. I know. I know. Um, the struct does not have... Come on now. Did I... Uh, 
This is starting to confuse me. Oh, I've moved the struct into this file as well. Never mind, I'm just an idiot. Per actor data. Okay, so I've defined slots, but I haven't defined accesses for those. That's okay, because I recently added um, with slots from um, CL. And in, in, var in Variad uh, works on structs. Which I'm not sure that it does in CL in general. Let's have a look. So we should be able to do this. And then we go and bring back up the debugger and say continue. And holy balls! That's a load of actors. And now, actually, the bit I want to see. Okay, so we're getting 130 FPS. That isn't that high. I mean, it's better. It's better than. Um, it's better than we could be getting. But it's also a bit annoying. That's a bit low. Hmm. And I'm guessing that's down to the writing the data. So if we look at write, um, if we just do take out the bit where we write the actor data, then we look at the FPS. Now we're at 430. Okay, so we're we're losing a lot just from that. So that's something we will want to optimize. Um, Darius is saying quiet, focused. Cool. So anyway, we have a few more now, but that's 3,000 and not 40,000. So we're uh, still an order of magnitude away from where uh, where I dreamed we could get this thing to. Um, I mean, there's a number of ways. There's a lot of places here I'm just pissing away performance, so I can definitely do better with that. Um, another thing I had was... Okay, so I'm, I was watching a talk a while ago on um, the approaching zero driver overhead stuff in GL and they weren't a fan of the map buffer stuff at all even with a pattern I'm going to talk about in a minute we're actually going to try out um, they were a lot uh, fonder of again manage, managing a lot more stuff yourself um, making persistently mapped buffers and um, yeah pushing data that way and then using GPU fences to make sure everything was all done in time um, we're also taking probably a big hit just from the fact that we're using the way we're accessing data in CL at the moment. Um, we can probably make that faster too. So rather than as a C array, uh, we might be able to get this as a pointer, and then we could actually just you know write it like we can increment the pointer and uh, write the data in. That will avoid us boxing all the time, and we'll just reduce a bunch of overhead there. But we can at least see something's happening, and that's cool. So, not completely bummed, but it's not as fast as I want it to be. But let's see um, at what point this sucks. Okay, so, we're again 160 FPS with uh, 3000. Um, if we just do hacky test again, what happens? Okay, now we've got, um, we're getting 83 frames a second with 6,000 entities. Um, of course, we're getting a lot of overdraw here as well, which isn't great, but that's fine. So that's that's roughly where we are. Um, oh, we're down at 80 again. Where are we burning away that speed then? Some things a little bit funky. Yeah, we're down. Down 84 frames a second, and we've only got 3,000 actors, and we were up 160 a second ago. What is happening? That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm, hmm, it's got me a little confused. I'm just going to restart everything and just see what we get. 
I'm a little confused of why that's doing that. Yeah. Let's just kill the session. Let's start slime up again. Grand hints. We're going to load daft. Just get back to where we were. Have some more coffee. Okay. The next thing we're going to try is um, an, a variation on... Mm, fuck. Okay. First thing we're going to try is to get this to build again. Because... Yes. Because things are wrong. Uh, per actor data. Like, if we're not using the pipeline in this, I'd actually like to move these shaders out to another file. They shouldn't be here. We can get rid of the simple cube stuff as well because we're not using that anymore. Okay, so we will leave, we don't need cube stream anymore, so we can go and find where that was, uh, where was that actually referenced from? CWR. No references found for cube stream? Probably because the thing cracked. Um, yeah, we don't need that. No, we don't need that. Um, screen height and game units we will keep here, tasks for the next frame we will keep here, we'll get rid of these guys, because um, they've moved. Whoa. Um, we'll keep God here and SDL2 pads and I would like to move this and the max act account. Oh no, we'll keep that here. We'll move this into here. The per actor data and this struct is going to move as well. Um, I think I'll move in actor data as well. No, that's dumb, actually. All of this stuff is in the wrong place. So, let's actually look at the ASD file. What order is things happening? So, Daft is here. Um, it'd be quite nice to set all the render shit up. Let's have one file where we can dump all our problems. We will name it Globals, and then later we will destroy it. And then in it's going to call, this should really be part of... Um, The actor data stuff. Oh well, this is fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just deal with it for now. Um, don't need to get into a big tidy up session. Though you already are, Chris. You already are. names, images, and render, then daft. Let's see where we get to now. And it breaks very soon. Come on, break faster so I can fix it. There we go. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Daft start. 
Oh yeah, of course it's not, because I'm not in the right package. Over there, and holy shit, okay, right. Uh, <laughs> what? Value, yes, that is not a single float, that's a character. What the fuck is going on? Yes, okay, that would be a problem. Um, yeah, that character S I think is from size not known and that's because we're trying to write a string into something that really doesn't take a string. And we've said, like, just accept it. Um, okay. Yes, there it is actually. Idiot, size not known. Pardon me. Um, Set that value. Um, I remember even when we said, "Oh, we don't know what to put this, what value to put there now." We'll just dump in this size not known. Come on. Oh, it was with hyphens. Okay, so apparently, apparently we have one kind of actor right now, which is right, we have, and it's the god. And now we should be able to load up test, and we should be able to compile all this stuff, and then we should be able to get this up to a decent size so you can see what I'm typing. And then we should just be able to run hacky test again. Oh yeah, let's uh, look at the FPS first. Oh, we're at 60, of course, because we need to set F uh, Kettle VSync to nil. FPS is now in the thousands. There we go. See, that's the numbers we want. Why can't we have those numbers while we're rendering far too much stuff? Um, yeah. 165. Okay. So then we are added... 3,000 more. We dropped to 80. And then... It, mm. Something was still... Like, doing the work for 6,000 things. I don't understand that. But we'll have to find out what it is eventually. But let's work with this for now. Also, let's uh, set up the clear color to something like that. That's what we had before. Okay, so there is a concept in GL that is orphaning, uh, which means if you, you can make a buffer and you can fill it with data and you can, um, you can read from it and then you can um, ditch the buffer. You can essentially say that you've orphaned it. Like it's it's going to be deleted, but the GPU is not going to free that memory until it's done with the current operations. Uh, what's nice is it means you can then start um, writing into the same, the same buffer again because you've orphaned the old memory. You're given a new block of memory. Um, and then, you yeah, you can start writing into that. Now this was called, was it called buffer stream or something like this? Oh man, I need to look this up. So basically I, I, I implemented this ages ago because I was working on a project porting um, Sketch to Keppel um, for like performance reasons and stuff like this. And in there I used it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go and find out what it was. So grep buffer streaming. And we're just gonna have to buffer stream, maybe something like that, okay. 
And so I had wrapped up this um, technique in Nineveh, which is the um, like a standard library of GPU stuff that I, I've been building. Um, it's like Alexandria for the GPU, really. It's not a standard library. It's just a bunch of useful stuff. Kaki's saying, if you batch sprites by type, you lose control over which sprite is on top, don't you? Well, we're going to use um, um, Z position. These are actually 3D objects. We're just using orthographic projection. Um, so we'll use their Z position to say which is on top. Good question. At the moment, we are using... Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think we've turned off um, depth test at the moment, but we'll turn that back on. So this buffer streamer thing, I just basically need to find out what this is again, because um, it's been it's been so long. Um, do we have Nineveh loaded? Yeah, we do. Fine. Make buffer streamer. What is all this stuff? Based on the wonderful article f by this dude. And the article's here. That's exactly what we need. That is what we need. Okay. Buffer object streaming in OpenGL. Um, so we have the following scenario. Data is written to the CP uh, by the CPU to a buffer, um, which is then read by the GPU. Um, in OpenGL, there are several ways to write a buffer. Um, we're currently using one of these two, probably this one. Um, but there's only one way to do it asynchronously by calling um, GL map buffer range with the unsynchronized flag. Um, so this is what we'll be using. Since the whole process is asynchronous, we have to guarantee that we'll never write, end up writing to a region of the buffer which is in use by the GPU. Uh, the idea is to allocate a fixed amount of memory um, for the buffer object and initialize an offset variable to zero. Ah, okay, right. Um, the memory amount should be greater than the data which needs to be processed, but not too big either for fast allocation. Um, okay, this might not be the right thing for us to use then. So what we were using it for before was essentially like a ring buffer. You would allocate like yeah, say eight megabytes. Um, and then every frame you would write into a chunk of that buffer and you would render just from that chunk. Um, and it was great because while that was going, you could be writing into the next chunk. Um, and then at the end, you would do the orphaning, which is going to be mentioned here somewhere. Let's have a look. When the data has been processed by the CPU, we upload it to a mapped region of the buffer. Uh, once the upload is done, we increase the offset. We have to watch for overflowing. Um, if it exceeds the, the buffer capacity, we allocate a new memory block for the buffer and reset the offset variable. This is a process called orphaning. And you do it. Does he say exactly how it's done here? Let's see if there's some mentioning of orphaning here. Nope. And let's look for greater than because that's going to be part of the test. Nope. Push. Okay. So this is going to be where the meat of it's happening. This is taking a C array and pushing it into this buffer streamer. Um, and there's some start and end stuff here as well. And we've got doesn't wrap, which looks important. Okay, so we reallocate the GPU array. How do we do that? Oh, we reserve. 
Okay, let's see how that's done. Okay, so you just, um, yeah, say buffer data with, I'm expecting this is, yeah, you just say buffer data with the byte size of the entire buffer. And then, yeah, and then that essentially orphans the old one and gives you a new chunk of memory. It's pretty cool. But is this going to be right for us? Because we're writing 3,000 at a time, and... <sighs> Could be. I mean, our buffer is something like 40,000 things long at the moment, so we could just write 3,000 in and then dispatch that and then write the next 3,000. Um, I'm not sure if it will be any faster. I mean, it doesn't really hurt to try. Uh, unless it does. Let's have a look. Okay, so there is one big problem with this. It controls the making of the GPU array, which is garbage. Who designed this API? What a fucking idiot. Um, okay. Never mind them. So we're not going to be able to use this directly, and I think that's okay. I think we should try... Um, pardon me. Using buffer subdata. Um, so what we, what we could do, basically, is we could write all the um, Lisp data into... Uh, C array, and then we could upload that en masse um, to the GPU array. And then there's only, like, we're not, um, yeah, then we're using not using a map buffer, which could be slow, and that's something I want to just find out. I want to do that comparison. So, where did we get to? Back here somewhere. What time is it, by the way? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Okay, so that's the bit I wanted to definitely get done today done. So I'm glad about that. And it's okay that we're running at 160 frames a second with 3,000 things, but it's not where we need to be, especially with what we're going to do next. We're going to need to um, deal with collisions, and that's going to be that's going to be very interesting because that's data we're going to need to get back from the GPU every frame as well. Um, I've got some ideas of how we're going to do that. I've been chatting to some guys at work, um, just yeah, trying to trying to get some ideas because we want to do as much of that collision checking in parallel as possible. And there are ways, but there's trade-offs, and we're just going to have to pick some. But the way we should be able to do it is like collision checking against tons of things um, in a way that will let you know if you're colliding with something, or um, you can check if you're colliding with any one, like it will tell you which things um, you're colliding with in a smaller pools of say 256 objects. It will tell you which ones you're colliding with and that will be pixel perfect as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. And we'll be doing that collision stuff on the GPU. Another thing we could actually do, and this is this is a real possibility with where this engine will go, is one of the reasons this shit's slow right now. Let's actually go to Actos. Where is it? Right, so we are having to write all of this um, data into a, into a GPU array. Um, and the reason we have to do that is we have to get it to the GPU. But what if it was already on the GPU? What if we actually say that um, we actually run all of the code on the GPU. And these macros here, like when we're defining actors, instead of this being regular uh, common Lisp code, like we at the moment we our macro expands to a bunch of methods and functions, what if they expand to GPU functions and have them compiled with Keppel and all that kind of stuff? And then we can write all our update, our game logic, and have it run on the GPU, all the data's in one place, Things could be really fast, and that might be kind of entertaining. Um, of course, we're putting more load on the GPU, but again, stupid engine. Who cares? It's fine. Um, that might be entertaining. That might be. That might actually be really fun. And then the CPU side is doing a very different job. It'll be writing events into a buffer so the GPU code can see it. 
Um, it'll be writing, it'll be actually dispatching the draw calls. Um, and that's about it. It will be so little on playing audio and stuff like that. Um, hey, actually, you guys might have some good ideas with this. I wanted to do that audio episode. And I can get audio to work from Lisp, no problem. I can get, um, I can get the, uh, I, I, I'm, I found a way to get like the audio routed to all the video outputs. Um, so I could hear it here and I could also push it down the stream. Because what I don't really want is you to have to listen to audio played loud into the room and then picked up by my, my microphone. I want you to hear it clearly like it's being played on the machine. Um, but basically my capture device is a bit shitty. It's really good for HDMI and for some reason it's not like OB... Actually, no, that's, that's wrong. My capture device is fine. Uh, it's OBS that is having a problem with the audio from that capture device. So basically, I need another way to uh, route audio from my PC to my PC that's doing the streaming. Ideas, I need them. Um, so like, if even if it's like a wire from line out to something in on the other machine, I am happy to do that. Um, I don't know. I, I need uh, I need your input on that one because I really want to do the audio episode because it'll be a fun one just to have a couple of beers and just dick around with putting su stupid sound effects on everything. So yeah, comments. Let me know. So yes, the, the, the upshot is we might end up running all of our logic on the GPU. Um, that's going to take a bit of design. So we'll see. But there's so many things we can do before that. I mean, one thing we're doing wrong right now is like we're doing um, we're doing this upload, and then we're doing this draw down here, um, and it's calling the same uh, pipeline. So we should actually upload all the stuff here. Um, so we will line out to line in will work. Don't know why you have a separate machine to stream from anyway, because I do, because it works. Um, the real reason is because. I don't want to have the streaming software running on the same machine as I'm doing rendering stuff from because it affects frame rate. And that's just shitty, especially because I'm on Linux and the captures like, it's just not as good. So I was gonna, I'm having a separate device regardless um, because I just don't want that kind of extra shit going on on the machine. Um, so yeah, changing that setup is not an option. Um, everything else is kind of interesting. Is that when you're saying line out to line in will work, is there anything you have to be aware of when you're doing that? Like, I, I'm... Like... Uh, you run Steam and game on the same machine. Well, good. <laughs> Shouldn't... Like, then send me your PC. <laughs> and I will not use it, and I will carry on using this setup anyway. But I will have your PC. Then how will you leave stupid comments? Um, yeah. Works fine for my Deuterino. Do to who, I think you mean. Right, what am I doing? Um, oh yeah, the uploading stuff is stupid. Um, let's go down to upload. There's no point in doing this here, because we can do it here. We just need to move this down here. Move res down here. Get rid of this. Um, go and find draw instant access. It's going to take res. Compile this. It's going to complain. That's fine. We jump over here. Do that call. Say continue. Variable actor is unbound. Can we continue, please? Why is actor unbound? Oh. Yeah, whoops. We need one actor passed in. Fair enough. Um, ARF current actor zero. Is that right? Let's count actor res. Yes, continue. Cool, that's back to life. Um, let's go and look at the FPS, which is pretty much the same. No surprise there. 
But anyway, that's one less thing going on. The other thing we could do is, rather than having this as a separate loop, um, we could do the whole map and thing inside this update loop. Um, actually, what I should do is, seeing as this is half working, um, let's do this. Instancing! Kinda yay! It's gone! Right. Um, yeah, I'll try the uh, line out line in thing. That would be awesome. If we can get that, um, if we can get that working, we can actually uh, have that episode, which would be grand. It's already done. It's just saying, beer will do the trick. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Straight after this, I'm grabbing a GNT. So that's another 50 minutes away. So I've got to do some work before then. Um, yeah, let's. Fuck all of this. Okay, so. Do, do, do it. This loop. Oops. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> I didn't do what I thought it was doing. Okay, so let's cut this. Yeah, Shin, at the time when I first put this thing together, I was uh, doing recording from my laptop, which is all I had. I didn't have a gaming rig, uh, so that was much less powerful. And even on my desktop I had at the time was a bit... It struggled a bit with some of the stuff. And I do not have the money to throw at these problems, so... The, the, the capture device worked well. I also wanted it because it allowed me to capture to USB, so I could use it around and about, which is quite nice. It's been very useful, so I'm glad I got it. Um, what am I doing? Okay, let's uh, pull this up here. Bit at a time, let's find out what we're doing. Oops, not that. <laughs> Porcelain, right. With GPU array, we can do this. And let's see. Unless they're dead, we're going to write actor data and increment count. Now, this is redundant. just need this to be inside this scope. Okay. So we're around 144 frames a second, roughly. Whoops, continue. Fucking idiot, Chris. That seems to have dropped as well. <laughs> Over time, I swear that was 160 not so long back. If that is slowly degrading, it is on a. Is it just me, or is that on a downward trend? If that starts being. It could just be fucking GC is hammering us, because again, GC and puts a consistent frame rate are not friends. Um, okay. Let's compile this. Check it now. That dropped. Measurably. Okay, so doing two passes was way better than mapping that GPU array for that whole time. Bam. So this change is gone. Recompile this, and then we're back up. Okay, so <laughs> that is not happening. Um, so let's have a think about another thing. Um, we could write into a C array and then just... Oh yeah, that was the other thing. We could just write all this into a C array and then uh, just uh, buffer subdata it over or just push G in this case uh, to push that data onto the GPU array. Um, let's give that a go. Um. Yeah. 
You're going in the pile of globals. That's what you get for looking at me funny. Right. Oh, it's a world of sadness. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a second. You see what I see? Two of them? Fuck right off. Two screen heights and game units? That can fuck off too. Jesus. Anyone think this is being made by some Muppet just kind of flinging it together on, on a live stream? How have your guys' uh, weeks been anyway? What have you been up to? I have been working on, well, in my evenings I've been working on Vario a fair bit. Um, I should actually find out what we've been doing on that. We landed a few things. Um, oh yeah, I remember. There was a, a bunch of performance work because it was not... <laughs> It's one of those things that, like, we improved performance massively. It wasn't because uh, we're really good. It's because what we have was really, really bad. It was the indenting code was just absolutely appalling. So if you did something really stupid, like nested 200 ifs, you would suddenly get some really slow compile times. And, uh, yeah, we just fixed that. And there's a few things we have added. Um, like, case has been added now. Um, what else? A bunch of uh, different things. I'm currently working on um, sequences so we can have map and reduce on the GPU, but um, that's kind of just for completeness stuff. It's not important, um, but it's fun, so that's cool. Um, let's do per actor C data. And then we'll look at render, render. And then we'll do make C array and we can just otherwise keep the code exactly the same, I think. Um, that is one nice thing. Correct a C data. Let's drop that in the REPL and we should have that C array now, which is good. Um, Pondipin was saying, week was all about taking care of kids instead of code. Well. That is fine. How is your youngin anyway? The newborn. The boy. Boy? Girl? I can't actually remember. Damn. Sorry about that. Shimera's week has been... Ugh. Sorry to hear that, man. I I've had a mixed feeling of a week, too. But I have at least got some stuff done. Yeah, why were we... Oh, yeah, we're currently uh, looking at implementing traits. A boy! A second one. The boy! The boys. Come here, boy. Right. I don't know what we're talking about. I might have to get more coffee soon. I'm just picturing some kind of weird aristocratic situation with Pondipim and some big, big chair. Boy! Bring me the drinks, boy. Kids running around with gin. It's probably just because I want gin. Uh, let's have a look. So we're going to... You are a fool, Chris. Uh, let's look at where we were writing the actor data. Here we are. So what if instead of... Um... Oh yeah, this actually doesn't need to change at all, which is nice. Um, we're going to go and write actor data. We are going to then, uh, we're not going to bind this. We're going to let the C array be the per acted C array. We'll pull out this. We're not going to get any updating here for a bit now. Because we are writing to the, um, the C array instead. Which... You know, it's a, it's a little bit faster, but we're not doing the upload yet, so we're about to see what that what effect that has. Um, what I am really happy about, though, is we are changing this code live and we are seeing FPS changes, which is quite nice. It is good to be able to... 
fuck around like this and get data without having to recompile all the like the whole project all the time, which is good. But things need to be faster. More news on that another year. Um, so let's just do. Push G, um, the C array to the per actor data. What does this do if we do this? Oh, C array not bound. Fool of a took. Right, let's do that and say continue. Okay, I like Keppel. Um, yeah, we haven't really gained anything doing that. That's a shame. Actually, if anything, we've lost a few FPS. Boo! Right. Is there a more direct way of calling the thing that we want? Let's see. Push G with... Ah, no. Okay, we are doing something kind of stupid here. We are pushing the entire um, 40,000 elements up each time rather than just the subsection that we need to. So this isn't a like-for-like -like comparison of what we were doing before. We need to push up less than that. So, um, what we could do, though it is also wasteful in many ways, is do subsec g, and then we just do um, zero and count. Except this will be subsec C. If the array is at 1D, then the length of the source must be less than or equal to the length of the destination array. They should be. If the arrays have more than one dimension, the size must match exactly. But they do. What have I fucked up? So uh, split horizontally. <sighs> wow, that's wrong. Very, very incredibly fucking hugely wrong. What the hell? Destination is a GPU array with dimension one. What? And this one has dimension 40,000. What? What is going on? What, what, what? Skipping one frame didn't help. Damn. So subsect C starts at zero. End is... This isn't in bytes though, is it? No, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's in bytes. Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's change it back to how it was a second. And we'll have to play with this in the rebel. Right, say continue. And then let's go and look at that per actor data again. Per actor data is 40,000. Per actor C data is 40,000. If we do subsec C of per actor C data, 0 and 2,000, we get something that says 40,000. Oh boy, Chris. Oh boy. What the fuck? Um, we have a bug. Oh, what? Why is any not being taken into account? What the fuck is going on? Dimensions is just taken straight from there. That's bullshit. What is this nonsense?
Ah, typing like an idiot. Oops. What language am I writing? Okay. All right. So putting aside the fact that I probably fucked up something else in this process. Let's, uh, let's see what I just did. Um... It's just so weird, man. So subsect C now does that. Subsect G on per actor data, 2000, uh, will give 2000. Good. Okay. Just see what that does in that case. Yeah. Okay. Weird ass, man. Didn't undo enough. Subsect C. Continue. Okay. Right. Okay. So we gained a little bit actually doing that. So not doing the map and just doing the buffer sub data with the region that we we're interested in was a tiny bit faster. We're not getting anything substantial here though, as far as those changes go. Um, so we would need to profile and look at something a bit more fundamental. What's going on over here? Sorting August is playing playing around with gameplay without graphics. Ooh, what are you working on? I'm I'm sorry if you did tell me last week. My my brain's a sieve. Oh boy. Palmer Bimpling and some good gifts. Currently working on a text editor widget. Oh yeah. Yeah, if anyone joined the uh Chimera's uh, stream on Sunday, I completely derailed that by accident because by thinking that um I asked if, if something was uh, drawing incorrectly or if it was just perspective, um, it, where it was just all the graphic projection, and then we decided it was broken and lost like two hours to just debugging the wrong fucking thing. So it was, uh, that was, yeah, sorry about that. Finacil, hello. Ah, lovely like Semtex. Hey, man. Wait a second, Finacil, I thought you were here earlier. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Sorted Orcs is saying, I'm just trying to see how much gameplay I can get running character interaction goals without having to, uh, a rendering engine. Cool. Yeah, let me know how that goes. Because that's, that's very interesting to see what that prototyping would look like. Um, okay. Oh, am I on the wrong machine? Of course I am. Only been doing this for like a year and a bit now. Actually, what what episode are we on? Ah, oh, fuck, I just realized I didn't update the title of the stream either. Smart, smart, smart. Where is it? Yeah, we're totally episode like 35 or something now. Let's just update that. <laughs> update information. Okay, so we've done 35 episodes. That's actually pretty cool. 35 weeks of this and you people still turn up? Amazing. Okay. So, what should we do? What should we do? Um, another thing we can do that, would, like, again, that will save us some time is that the state um, that we're writing... Actually, we should do the pointer thing. We'll try the pointer thing as well rather than um, using the accessors. We will also try... Um, like the data we're writing in, where's write actor data? Like this stuff. We're doing transform and size and scale and offset, right? There is no reason for us to 
store all this data like in in a Lisp array, copy it into a C array, and then copy it into a GPU array. I mean, that's dumb. Let's write it into um, the C array to begin with and just be done with it. Um, Yeah, stuff like size, UV scale, and UV offset. In fact, we're working on most of this stuff here, aren't we? Calc UV mod? Actually, yeah, so most of this stuff isn't being stored. Um, okay, so now that's probably irrelevant. Um, the transform is only happening here. The... Yeah, all of this is, this is this is the only one that's not being computed every time. Um, wait a second, the size? I can't remember why size was uh, why size was separate for each thing, but who cares? It's fine. I guess so. It allows us to scale each one of these individually, which is fine. But also a bit weird because we were doing the kind of pixel for pixel stuff. That was kind of the point. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, we got our instancing working anyway, and it is running at least better than 30 frames a second now. I will have a think of what to do for making this faster. Um, what's next? What's next? I mean, collisions and stuff definitely are going to be an issue. Um, I mean, no more than they, like as we crank up the numbers, um, we're gonna see a lot more problems. Um, hmm. Oh man, my, my brain's just going off on one now. So there's a bunch of things we could do to try and speed that up. And that that's really looking interesting to me. I, I don't know if I wanna sketch out some of that stuff now, or if we, Try and have a look at what it would take to move all of the code onto the GPU, because that would be pretty funny. Hmm. Maybe. What's going on over here? I'll distract myself. Ooh, frame rate's dropping again. No, sorry, uh, bandwidth is dropping again. That's getting really annoying. Um, part of him saying, guess what? We'll even be there next week. Holy shit! <laughs> Shemera said, speak for yourself, nerd. <laughs> oh, like any of us can accuse anyone of being a nerd. It's fantastic. Um, I mean, some of the things we could do are just, like... Some of them are just kind of annoying though, because it's like, I'm just looking at all this copying actor state stuff isn't great. If that was in a C array, we could mem copy or we could just do this another way. Like they're more fundamental changes. Um, ah, it's all right. It's all right. Hmm. I just wanted us to get more of that instancing. I think 6,000, I mean, 6,000 things is plenty, but it's not 30,000, you know? Like, I'm, it's so far off that. Um, and that's kind of a bummer. But it is general. Like, we can throw anything at that and it's not going to be a problem. Um, There's a bunch of stuff here we could optimize, but that's all micro optimizey well, micro optimizey stuff. Make it not shit stuff. Um, is there anything that we can do? Oh yeah, we were gonna mess around with the pointer stuff just to see if right actor data is better that way. So let's have a look. Rather than doing this a ref c, um, how does how will this work? I don't actually know. Um, I need to really look at what we get from this now. I've it's been so, I, my head is so full of stuff from um, 
Vario that I've... I just don't have any of Kepler in my head right now. Um, okay, so we get an object with a pointer, and then accessors are going to work on that pointer. That that makes sense. Um, but we are obviously having to make one of these each time, um, where we could like just make one and then bump actually we could do that um rather than passing in the c array we could pass in the c actor we could bump the um pointer by the size of the uh c array and then at least we're not allocating a bunch of extra objects let's just let's let's see what happens if we do that how much difference would it make so rather than C array, we're going to pass in C actor. C actor. Right. Um, I'm just going to do this for now. Break. Foo. Um, we're going to go look for right actor data. So at the beginning of the loop, um, we're going to get the C actor. We're going to pass it instead of the C array. And then we are going to do some hacky stuff. Um, what will this be called? This will be, let's look at the, oh, so it's, actually, let's just look at the macro expansion. That's going to tell us exactly what it is. No guesswork needed. Okay, so there is a struct. That's a vario struct. And that is a C struct. Um, where is the... Okay, so that's actually not what I need to look at. If I get that data again, this is a structure object of type per actor data. Huh. Okay. Um, so in here, there is probably a dev struct somewhere. There it is. Idiot. So is it just called per actor data pointer? Yes, it is. Nice. Okay. Oh, fuck all that then. Um, go back here and then we... We are going to increment this thing, which is so we're going to do CFFI inc f pointer by the uh, CFFI whoa, foreign type size of. Um, now the real question: What is the what is the size of this? Um, and that, I'm actually going to look at the macro expansion again because I believe that we give this C struct a shitty name, um, which is less than ideal. Um, Let's just have a look. See if I buy um, per and type size for per extra data. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I've done it right then. Fine. Don't mind my macro expansion and ramblings. It's all just bullshit. Let's get back here and then we can look at where we're incrementing here. This, but bump this over a bit. God lord. Okay. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this hasn't been called... Whoa, whoa, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, there we go. Needs to be called with C actor. Undefined function. Oh, is there no set for that? Are you kidding me? That's just dumb. That would just be really annoying if I didn't do that. Pointer. Yeah, def struct. Um, per actor data is gbase struct wrapper. There we go. Read only. You fuck. Okay, fine. We're not going to do that then. Um... This is rather frustrating. Okay, so we can't just um, bump the pointer inside the wrapper. Um, so we'd have to just grab the pointer and do this stuff ourselves. So if we do the um, C array pointer we can definitely get that pointer so like per actor c data we get the pointer c array pointer c array we can imp we can bump that by that amount each time and that's fine um this needs to be let star. This isn't going to happen anymore. Which means C actor isn't going to happen anymore. Um, actually, this is just be called actor pointer. Fuck though, I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. No, it might be right actually. Let's have a look. Uh, let's just do actor pointer. We should be able to use CFFIs with foreign object or something like this. With foreign slots, maybe? Yeah. Bars, pointer, and type. So we will want um, oof. Okay. Pointer is going to be actor pointer. The type is going to be uh, per actor data. The things we need from there will be transform size, UV scale, and UV offset. Let's see if that's possible. We'll transform. Uh, size, UV scale, UV offset, and let's see what happens when we macro expand it. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, so we're just going to get foreign slot values for all of those. Let's see if that works. Um, and then it would be transform. Ah, okay. Size. Um, how does this work? Um, I need to give it alternate names, which I think is. Do you do C size and then this? Malform slot. Ah, okay. Can't do that. Why? Um, let L size be size. Ugh, this is going to be annoying. Um, 
LVB scale. Love scale and love offset. Weird. Um, and this will be fine. Okay, so let's let's just assume that's going to be okay. And now I can do this. Uh, UV scale. UV offset. Bam, that all went wrong. Okay, there is no applicable. Holy shit. Okay. Gener no applicable method for generic function. Uh, see if I slots when called with the arguments. Um, see if I CT type. Power to data. Okay. Um, why? Okay, back to render again. Why do I get the feeling that this stream is going to end on a low? This should be okay though. Let's have a look. CRA pointer for that thing. We know that per actor data is a valid type. So we go CFFI foreign slot value. Um, given this as the pointer, given the type, the type of the thing would be, let's just do size, which would be a vector two and the slot name, which would be size. Really doesn't like that. God damn, that's super annoying. Wait, no, this is wrong. This is wrong again. Um, this type isn't the type of the slot we're getting. This is... Um, per actor data, but I still think it's going to freak out again, which it is. Why though? Yeah, it just doesn't believe it's there. Huh. Okay. I guess I've just... Man, um... Not too sure what I'm doing there. Um, ah, so the frame drops weren't on my end. No, it's... Uh, oh, no, it's doing it again. Fuck me. That's really annoying. If this keeps up, I'm really going to have to go and bug my provider, and I just hate doing that. It's just so boring. <sighs> Let's just... Uh... Look at whatever this is. Now, are uh, all the... Uh, maybe I'm just forgetting how this works. But to me... Yes, the main uh, struct itself is in a stupid package. Um, but all the slots, them, the slot names aren't. So that shouldn't be a problem. And when this was defined, there's the struct. Correct data. So, yeah. We have this foreign type declaration. Oof, maybe. Does it really have to be done with a stupid name? It shouldn't have to be. Simple parser is the per actor data. Oh, 
Oh, maybe the type has to be is it like struct. Nope. Fuck me. Okay. Um, continue. Let's try the stupid name and see what we get. This will be really disappointing. Um, no. Okay, so it's not that. Actually, let's have a look. Ah, uh, okay. So it does want this, and it wants a stupid name. That's no bloody good. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Let's just... Seeing as this is just for checking the performance of something, um... Oop. I'm just going to define something that's exactly the same layout in a namespace that is sensible, and I'm going to go and use that. Where is the type? Direct data. This is going to be... Of course it's going to be a struct. It's with slots. That's, that surely can't be a thing. Um, it, but it is. It is. Okay. Oh, of course. Let's get rid of that. And what's this complaining about? Index is defined but never used. That, that is true. Um, we'll, be, we'll be bumping the pointer from outside now. So... Oh. Okay, um... No applicable method for the translate function. Um, aggregate to foreign when called with that. Why not? Because that is a matrix four and that is a map four type. That shouldn't have been a problem. This is surprisingly annoying. We're at 54 minutes. Yeah. Really glad we got the first bit done because this is a bit rubbish. Um, Grab the pointer, we get the slot pointer for this and transform. We set f memref and map for. Should have been fine. Should have been fine. Um, whoops. Oh, wait a second. Have I been really dumb? Do we... No, like this This will be doing the memref stuff. No, this should be fine. Okay, I'm actually just confused now. I don't know what's going on. Darius is heading off. I have to go now. We'll watch the rest on YouTube. See you next week. Have a good time. Cheers, man. Uh, yeah, I think in the last five minutes we'll probably... We're not going to get this going in the last five minutes. It's pretty... Pretty certain. Is a ponder why though? Um, eee, okay. Okay, it 
doesn't like the setup. Um, foreign slot value. Oh, okay. Um, let's. Oh, right. Yeah, I think. Uh, Is it just CFFI Memref? Oh, come on now. Pointer. This shouldn't be necessary. No, because we're getting the slot value. Can you not set a slot value? I was really sure we could do setup on these, but um. Okay, if we can't do that, then we will do it the long way around. But no, we did, um... What is this? See if I... Sorry, I'm going to just watch a bunch of mumbling and CFFI code right now. It's just really surprised. I'm struggling to work out why. This is not playing. Because this is so goddamn familiar. Right. Why are we having to do this janky ass code when you should be able to use with foreign slots? But I don't care now. As long as, as long as I have a way. Map four. Fine. Back to like this is not size, it's transform. So transform size is L size. We are going to have a goddamn result. UV scale. Offset. Offset. Get rid of this. All this stuff. Um, act pointer. Come on, give us something that we can test. For goodness' sake. Oh, and I'm seeing errors. What's this? Doesn't know what vector two is. Complaining that index isn't used, that's fine though. Uh, SLDB, any of them, I don't mind. Continue. What's trying to. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're trying to do C array pointer on it. God damn. Um, Oh. CRA pointer just replaced with actor pointer. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. We compile, continue. Thank you. Jesus. Right. It is a bit faster. Okay, so we were taking a hit just from um, creating that um, wrapper object for all of them. And it would have been nice if we could have just created it and bumped the pointer. I might, um, bruh, 2229, what's up? Hey dude, weird Twitch says I wasn't following you. That's strange, man. Um, well, welcome anyway. I'm sorry it's right at the end because I'm, I'm finishing up in like one minute. Uh, we were just poking around to see if we can make this any faster. So we're getting like 3000 objects, 186 FPS, which is just too slow. 
Um, but it'll be okay for now. I'm going to have a think about this over the week and we will um, do some speed ups and we'll start looking at collision next time. Um, yeah, collision on the GPU. And if I can think of a way to get all this logic onto the GPU anyway, Tartico, thank you for the sub. If we can think about how to get this onto the GPU, everything, that would be really fun because it would just be, you know, writing games that are just running on the GPU, like all the logic running on the GPU, that'd be really cool. I haven't done that before. Um, yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Let's just run Hacky Test one more time to see what frames a second we get with 6,000 objects. We get 93 frames a second with 6,000 objects, which is, you know, okay. And let's see if, uh, I wonder if we can get back our old, this is, uh, this is really playing with fire. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep the, oh, wow, actually, these things I want to keep. Oh, no, they're actually things I do want to keep. Not this, though. But yes to this. No, not all of this. Ah, shit. Yes to that. No to that. Um... Yes, definitely that. Oh no, the changes we did a little while ago were actually useful. <laughs> ah, we definitely don't want this shit. Um, there were four we were, yeah, this was riding into the C array, that's probably okay. Um, Oh, never mind. Okay, so what was I going to do? I was going to see if I could get the old test code um, out of the archives. And... Test. What do we have in test? Test.list. There it was. Nope. Yes, this one. Where we had things. What happens if we just get this and dump it into the test file now and recompile? Eep! Oh, it didn't die. Really? That's surprising. Um, actors, we have a few things in the actors list now. Cool. Um, do we have any god right now? No. So if we spawn god, what happens? Um, very little. Damn. Okay, never mind. We'll, uh, we'll resurrect <laughs> everything next week. And we'll, uh, yeah, try and get everything else going. Let's, uh, do we get a ship if we spawn a ship? Yeah. So we do. Whoa, and <laughs> things break. Right, I'm, the more I touch this, the more it's breaking. So that's it. Stream done. I will see you all next week. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah, catch you on the next one. Bye.